Shalom, Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Joshua back with another quick coffee break and a quick exhortation, man, to meditate on these things in the last days, man. Right. Don't allow yourself to be overcharged with the drunkenness and the things of this world, man, and the things that are happening and going on in this world as well. Right. We see wars and rumors of wars, man perplexity of nations right the stress of these nations getting ready and preparing themselves for war we seeing the downfall of america man aka babylon the great man and i will charge your heart to not be troubled to see all these things coming man right don't be comfortable in america and think that this is your dwelling place this is your home right and you see it being destroyed right before your eyes is falling as we speak man day by day the lord said every morning his judgments come to light man and if you're paying attention and you're watching you will see that the dollar is falling man there's more diseases coming about there's massive death in the world and these nations are gearing up for third world's war Right. And the Lord said, for those that love me. Right. That he's going to take care of you, man. And he got something for you that you can't even imagine, man. You know what I'm saying? All the work you've been putting in, all the reading, the fasting, the studying, the teaching, the going out on the highways and byways, man. All you sisters reversing your husbands, taking care of your children, man, doing community work. And all these things in the name of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, it's not going unlooked, man. The Lord said he is faithful and just to see the works that you're putting forth, man. And everything you're doing to magnify the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, in these last days, man. So I come to implore you to keep the work going and don't get weary, right? Because in due time, right, your works will be manifest before the Most High. And like he said, he will not forget your labor of love man that you have put in in this walk even though it's stressful even though you have to still deal with worldly things and aspects of this world and you still have to use this world but not abusing it right because the fashions of it are passing away and all these things are dissolving in time everything that you can see and touch and smell is going to be destroyed right pursuant to the book of second peter chapter three right uh, in verse 12, I believe, right? So remember that the Lord always has something for his children that are doing and bringing forth his work and sincerity and in truth, right? In the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Right. So the Lord said he has wonderful thoughts. Right. To give you an expected end, man. So when you see the corruption of this world and everything coming to a head and it's beginning to cease and die before your eyes, man, there's a new heaven and a new earth approaching. Right. And this is not your rest. We look for an eternal rest to come, man. And that our minds and, and our thoughts and things of that nature cannot even fathom what's coming man right the lord said he has manifold pleasures and peace that he's bringing to his saints man right so keep marching keep standing strong being mighty before the how about shimmy i was standing bold in the face of your enemies man because the lord has gifts and pleasures for you in the end and everlasting peace man and righteous reign over this earth right let me get the book real quick the book of john man right the book of john and i'm gonna start at chapter 14 okay and i'm gonna start at the top of chapter 14 real quick this is the book of john chapter 14 and verse 1 and it reads, let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. 
in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself where I am there ye may be also and whether I go ye know and the way ye know right so the Lord said look in his father's house there are many many mansions man manifold places to rest right beautiful sights right beautiful smells right beautiful pleasures right Hey, and he said he goes to prepare a place for you, right? Those that love him, right? Those that do his father's will and those that continue to follow him through these dark times and the times that are continuing to come and unfold themselves right before our eyes, right ahead of us, man, right? The Lord prepares a place for you and he has a place of resting for all your labor. So, you don't have to worry anymore of all these things that are happening because your work and your labor is not in vain. You have to continue to strive for greatness, for the mastery, right? And just do this work and endure to the end, right? Let me get a book real quick of Proverbs real quick. Okay, this is the book of Proverbs chapter eight. Okay, in verse number... 17 and it reads i love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me right so if you continue to seek the lord amen you're going to find him keep moving stay strong don't stress be mighty in these scriptures in your work stay fervent in your walk because we can't even think of what is actually coming for us, man. We can't understand the things that the Lord has actually prepared for us, man. It's unimaginable, right? And that's where your faith kicks in, that you will be able to receive these things due to the work and the mercy and, 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 the, and the grace of the Most High God, right? So remember, everything you're doing is not gone unseen. Don't get discouraged. It's going to get harder. But the key thing is to stay focused and press toward the mark and never give up. Right. Let me get one more precept in the book of first Corinthians. Right. All right. Let's go to the book of first Corinthians. Let's go to chapter two and verse nine. And it reads, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh hath prepared for them that love him right because your mind your physical thoughts cannot, e cannot even imagine the things that the most high has in place and in store for you man think about it everlasting rest rulership over the earth dominion Right. Even over the animals like Adam had, man. Right. Servants and handmaids. Manifold mansions as far as the eye can see. Walls being built in the kingdom that has uh, topaz and gold and pearls and diamonds and, you know, amethyst and sapphire. All these things. Streets of gold, man. Right chariots over your house whenever you want to get out and travel the world or do whatever man hop in a chariot and fly out angels protecting the gates of heaven man right walking with your house shy physically these things are unimaginable man to the natural man but we got to stay in the spirit and imagine these things man and in order to reach these things we have to endure until the end man to be saved that we may receive the promise that the most high has given from the beginning right 
But I just wanted to come give that encouragement, man, and that exhortation for brothers and sisters to continue to march and stay steadfast and unmovable in this truth, man, and continue to exhort one another into good works, man, because eventually we're going to be going home, man. So stay strong, stay mighty in the spirit, bless all that hear this truth and receive it with gladness. And follow after Amashiach Yahweh Shai, right? But with that, I'm going to say give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.